We are now a week into 2024 now. We're, we're, they, we had some mild weeks leading up to this. But it's sort of like, you know, a weather system, an unpredictable <laughs> one. Because sooner yeah. or later, you're going to get, it's just going to pour, come down F right on your F head. Like, oh my God, that's, that's this week. Oh dear. We have a headline that we've never seen before. Oh, well, that's exciting. I think it's exciting. We've been doing this a long time. We should be. Actually, we have several in here that we haven't seen before. There were children born when we started doing this that are in like third grade now. Tootsie Fruitsie. <clears throat> of course, we also have had stuff people doing the same Nine. thing over and over again, expecting a different result, apparently, I guess. So why don't we get the intro going? Because... Well, it's just... New Year, same us! Yeah. All right, here we go. Each week... Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? Crazy. I had to double check when everyone started sending me this article because I swore I'd seen it before, and I had. It was one of these, what year is it kind of things. But even though <laughs> I had seen it before, it also, <laughs> everything that has happened before and will happen again. It's a flat circle. <laughs> it is happening again. Um... Send this over to you. But everyone made it clear they needed me to see this. So many people made it absolutely clear that I had to see this. I think I, think I sent you this one, too. You did. You did. Nude man nabbed by police after cannonball plunge into giant aquarium at the Bass Pro Shop in Alabama. And this is after we just had the motherfucker who was... Fishing. Fishing. <laughs> In the Bass Pro, of course, this is Alabama, Leeds, Alabama, a man crashed his car outside the Bass Pro Shop in Alabama, stripped down to his birthday suit, and plunged into the giant aquarium inside the store. Uh, the ordeal happened Thursday night in front of shocked shoppers in the town just outside of Birmingham. I've been there. A uh, 42-year-old Alabama man did a cannonball leap into the aquarium and then stood under a waterfall. He left the water to yell at two officers, then dove back into the aquarium. Man eventually climbed over the side of the aquarium and fell to the concrete floor below. Police then apprehended him. Faces several charges, including public lewdness, dis disorderly conduct, and criminal mischief. The man was in the water for about five minutes before officers arrived. What the entire fuck happened here? Now I've... I've never been to a Bass Pro Shop, so I don't yeah. know, like, how big are these tanks? Oh, they're fairly large. Let's see if they got, there's part of a video of this floating around. Obviously not the entire thing, but here you go. It's giving me last five minutes of salt burn vibes. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah, there he is. That's how big the aquarium is at the Bass Pro Shop. It's fairly large. But aren't they full of fish? Yes, they are. They are, in fact, full of fish. Leave the fish alone. Nothing. All right. You don't want to swim in an aquarium. Ever. Like, everybody's all like, oh, don't swim in the ocean. Fish fucking piss there. Yeah, okay. That's fine. But the ocean, it's big dispersed. It's not like that. It's all very concentrated. Even the people at the aquarium, you see them suit up to get in there. They got the snort. Like, no, they are not fucking around in there. 
it's Have not you ever had a goldfish and not clean the tank as often as you should or the bowl you want to swim in that apparently uh other <laughs> since reporting has revealed that he was on drugs shocker you don't say they didn't let us know which drugs it was, which I crashed your car, go swimming in the Bass Pro Shop, and then yell at the police officers who have come to get you out of the Bass Pro Shop honestly, Aquarium. They honestly can't believe you haven't said it yet. Get so out of there. need you to get out of a fish tank. <laughs> no, you're just going to yell at me. You know, I feel like I feel like they could solve a lot of these problems if they just started putting fucking piranhas in the Bass Pro, Pro fish tank. And apparently... Just fill it with piranhas. It, it, if you, if Darwinism you, will take effect. If you go back and do some Googling, you're going to find out there's a long and tr storied tradition in the United States of America of jumping in the Bass Pro Shop Aquarium. It happens a lot. But this was the first time I believe Naked was involved, a car crash was involved, and getting out of the aquarium to yell at police officers before you jump back in. That's new. So I mean, good on you for keeping it fresh, sir. <laughs> Way to evolve. You gotta, you gotta update the format to the times, right? Yeah. What in the entire fuck? You couldn't pay me to I put mean, a hand in that thing. I mean, I'm sure it's cool looking. Like I said, I've never been in a brass pro shop because why would I have been? I'm indoorsy. Hmm. But like, I'm sure it's cool to look at. And... I'm sure to a certain type of idiot, it seems like a fun idea. Mm. But it's not. It's not. Well, we do have some New Year's Eve shenanigans. However, we did not have any fireworks problems this year. Or at least none that were reported and I could find. Um, the farthest I got was some idiot on social media put a bottle rocket in his mouth. And it sprayed his face with sparks, and that was it. It didn't even go off. It was a dud. We get people around my neighborhood that start the fireworks when, like, the New York ball drops. And it's still weird to me that, like, because I've always lived in the New York metro area before mm -hmm. this, that it's still weird to me that, like, I watch the specials and the ball drops at 10 p.m. And then I'm like, well, now what do I do? Because there's no local coverage ever. <laughs> That's just it. Everybody goes to bed. But people started fireworks at, like, 10 p.m., and I'm like... We're not in New York, dumbass. What are you doing? Well, we didn't have any horrible fireworks stories, but that didn't stop someone from making it a New Year's Day to remember. Annapolis woman arrested after allegedly assaulting, vandalizing, and disrobing before biting officer. Busy season. Baltimore. That's, that's, that's some rough grammar because... It kind of makes it sound like the officer was the one biting. Be, yeah, disrobing. Before, you gotta be careful. Uh, yeah. You gotta be careful where you put your adjectives. Eat, shoots, and leaves. Um, it's from Balmer. An Anna, an, Anna, <laughs> an Annapolis. I can say fucking words. An Annapolis woman has been arrested for allegedly entering multiple homes while intoxicated, attacking at least one person, and damaging property before assaulting officers. Police officer. I didn't know Zack Snyder was doing Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <laughs> okay, comments. Um, police arrived at the location around 8.30 p.m. and found 33-year-old Emily Morton, who was reportedly intoxicated at the time. Morton had entered her residence without permission and assaulted a person. While there, she threw chairs and damaged window fixtures. She then entered the home next door by forcibly breaking the glass patio door. Morton then reportedly stripped off her clothes and left. At one I mean, point, he might have glass on. That's not safe. At one point, Morton assaulted officers by spitting and biting at them. The aristocrats. <laughs> like what? 
What in the, the entire fuck just happened? And this was just booze? Apparently. What kind of booze are you drinking, ma'am? I think the too much of it kind. Yeah. Imagine you're sitting there, you're, you're having dinner, you hear a ruckus next door, all of a sudden, a chair comes through the patio door and suddenly tits. What the fuck are you? I, I would, I probably would, would still, still be sitting there to the, like days later going, the fuck just happened? The fuck was that? I'm just trying to figure out what to door dash because I was up late last night. <laughs> I do not have the energy for this. Seriously, it's New Year's Day. How are you this yeah. active on New Year's Day? For real. All the rest of us are like, we plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. And you're still partying down naked and screaming. I didn't even go anywhere for New Year's. I stayed in and had one glass of wine. And like... I went out at like 2 p.m. to run some errands. That was my big New Year's Day. Uh, Time Lord Soundwave. And I didn't even party. Time Lord Soundwave the channel. Fuck you, Baltimore! Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even, I don't, how, how do you even begin to deal with this? It's someone comes into your house and punches you and then, Break shit, runs out, smashes the door next door, pull tits. What? And then start and then biting. Starts biting people. Yeah, I'd be sitting there going, you know, I just started rewatching The Last of Us, and uh, mm -hmm. it's not looking good. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Might 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 have to pull out the double tap because that that is a good. It's if you do that shit in America, that is a good way to be introduced to a guy. I mean, depending, depending where in America you do that shit, yeah. Yeah. That could end really badly for you. Mm. Lighten it up a little bit. Let's pull back. Light. This is from Colorado. So this is out near you. Near you so. Oh, oh boy. Uh, no, this one isn't quite so bad, but it is really fucking stupid. Real, it, again with this shit. A fucking again. Burglar busted while attempting to use Uber as a getaway driver. Okay, but here's the thing, all uh, right? I took an Uber home from the airport right? after I visited my family for Christmas, mm -hmm. and that shit cost me $100. <laughs> Who is using Uber for crime? It's too expensive. It's from Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Sure. Uh, oh, that is near me. Yeah, police in Colorado say they caught a burglar trying to get away in an Uber last week. According to the Wheat Ridge Police Department, officers responded last Thursday night to a report of a burglary at Blue Sky Plumbing. 911 caller reported seeing a hole in the fence and said they had security footage of a man stealing tools. Arriving officers said they spoke to an Uber driver who they saw waiting in the area. The driver told them he was called to pick up a man named Jose who was walking toward the car. Officer stopped and questioned the man before he got into the Uber. They say he provided the officers with a fake name, but they were able to find a backpack on him with more than $8,600 worth of Milwaukee brand tools inside. The suspect, and this guy's got an amazing, I love this guy's name, later identified as Jose Guadalupe Perez Gallardo. That's hey, a Gallardo. Gallardo? The, the, double L, the double L in Spanish is, sounds like a Y. It's Gallardo. Gallardo. Oh my God, it's even better. Jose Guadalupe Perez Gallardo. Oh my God, that's so good. Um, was taken into custody and booked on charges that include larceny, criminal trespass, and possession of burglary tools. The thing about Uber, and the, uh, you've watched too many movies because you sound like you hop in a cab and go floor it, cabby, or follow that cab. They don't do that shit. And Uber, even less than that because they ain't getting paid that much. The money, like he says, and how fast they get you to their destination doesn't affect how much they're paid at all. Yeah, it's like that hundred dollars. Maybe your tip. Yeah, that hundred dollars. They don't see much of that because it's fucked. Yeah. Um So tip as well as you can afford to, everybody. But the other thing, they are not your accomplice. 
They have no interest in being your accomplice. If the cops stop you, they aren't going to take a bullet for you. Fuck no. This, this is, they, they're just trying to do their damn job and you're trying, what the fuck? An Uber. And I'm here to tell you, they're driving Uber. They're already not making a ton of money. It's probably a second job. They don't have time for your crap. Like, fuck's sake, you could have at least taken the bus. <laughs> that you would have had, a, in fact, you probably would have had a better chance of getting away by taking the bus because then they wouldn't be sitting there questioning your Uber driver. And also, the bus doesn't literally track your location at all times. No, no. It's... Like when I requested my Uber at the airport, I could literally watch the little graphic of the mm -hmm. car pulling up. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. No, you they they fucking idiot. Like they they know right where you are all the time. Like we need like we need like a union for criminals. Right? Because we, we need, we are, we, we've, there, we've lost a whole lot of talent and just institutional knowledge in crime over the years. This generation. A really a bad thing. I mean, they're getting themselves caught. It's called the mafia. It is not the mafia, Butterball. The mafia is right to work. Okay. Thieves Guild. Yeah, that's more like it. More like it. it's this Thieves Guild. That's more like it. Because this is just, this is, this is embarrassing. You're going to have to explain this shit in jail. They're going to ask you. And it's not like that. You're, I, you're... I bet you won't be the only guy that did it, though. No, you won't be. Well, speaking of the other side Listen, of this, the. Uh... I know it worked for Kate Bishop, but Kate Bishop is also like. A pretty white girl who's a millionaire and fiction so she's gonna get away with shit anyway and also, also fictional. That. yeah right um what's so i can tell you in the real world you do not get to walk around manhattan with a bow and arrow and have nobody bother you let's look on the other side of the uh law and order equation we, we have the uh the police who catch criminals and the prosecutors and all that um you I don't want okay, no one really likes jury duty. I get that. I've had it once myself. It sucked. Nobody really likes it. But there's that whole, they have the weight of the law behind them. And guns. So when you do shit like this, they're not just going to be like, oh, okay. Juror blamed for causing mistrial said she was trying to get out of jury duty. And it's not a little trial either. Kayla DePena, 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 I think it's DePena, uh, is accused of causing a mistrial in the resentencing of a convicted killer facing the death penalty. Which we're not even going to get now horrific the death penalty here is America, but it's you know, this is some serious shit. This is not a fuck around trial. 26 year old Florida woman went from juror to defendant after being accused of lying to the court and causing a mistrial and the resentencing of a convicted killer in an attempt to get out of jury duty. During deliberations in November, Kayla DePena was told the Orange County, Florida court she had discussed the case with a friend and said it would impact her ability to be fair and impartial in deciding a possible death sentence. She was charged with contempt of court at the time, and on Thursday, she told the judge she lied about discussing the case in an attempt to weasel out of fur further jury service. A different juror in the previous case said DePena was upset about missing work. The call back in the room. Judge told us we were going to be sequestered for the night, explained the rules. We're going back to the deliberation room, uh, the juror told the court, and she asked to speak to the judge, and before she walked out, she said she was about to make that a mistrial. See, the thing about jury duty is nobody likes it, but 
if you ever end up on trial for something, you really want to hope that the people who are on your jury are taking it seriously. Yeah. So, like, if you get picked, try to take it seriously. It's not going to be fun. But if it were you, you would want people that, that give a shit. And, oh, and, and not this. And guilty or innocent. A human life was in your hand. Right. A human fucking... Now, the, the truly psychotic thing is Florida no longer requires um, unan unanimity no, they have to have eight for the death penalty, which is gross. Yeah. But still. Yeah. Like, this is a fucking death. And I understand, like, that would give me anxiety. And I'd wind up telling the judge, I'm going to have a panic attack every 10 minutes until this is done. And by the way, I'm never voting to give anybody the death penalty. So maybe send me home. Yeah, I mean, that's that's at least honest. It's not, no, I'm going to fuck this up so I can go, I don't have to miss work. Right. But that would be true. Like, I would th can you be partial? Fuck no. You, the, the fucking... What the fuck? What the fuck and is like, wrong? What the fucking... Mm. There are ways to get out of it if you just don't really want to do it. Like, Find a reason you can't be partial. Yeah. This one comes to us from uh, Australia. And I know what everybody's going to say when they see this story. Because, you know, I know. I've watched it. It's y'all. I know exactly what y'all are going to say. But also, God damn, this would this this would fuck with me. Loose scarfed blamed for roller coaster mishap that trapped riders. Yeah, uh, a loose scarf has been blamed for a roller coaster failure at Movie World on the Gold Coast, which trapped thrill seekers for some time. Visitors to Movie World on the Gold Coast were stuck on one of the tallest roller coasters in the world after a loose scarf became entangled around the train wheels. Let's see. Let's see if we're seeing exactly what I thought they were saying. Tom Baker, there we go. This is that the Doctor Who. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I knew you're get your Doctor Who jokes out of your system. Oh. There you go. There's reaching speed of up to 150. Clearly, my, my brain didn't go there. Reaching speeds of up to 115 kilometers an hour. The DC Rivals Hypercoaster is the tallest, longest, and fastest roller coaster in the Southern Hemisphere. In a statement, Warner Brothers Movie World said, highly trained ride operators use their control system to safely stop the ride in the lift as a precaution. Ride operators said the ride safety system has done what they are trained and designed to do. Uh, so you're already on a roller coaster, and I hate fucking roller coasters. I fucking hate, sorry, I just fucking hate them. They don't do roller coasters. And you start feeling this tugging as you're riding along. And it gets a little more insistent. And you're like, is someone behind me fucking with me? And no, they're not. They're not. And other people are doing the, we have Tom Baker on one side. And we have no capes on the other side. So, I mean, thank God they were still going up. Yeah. Because can you imagine at the speed going down? <laughs> yeah, that would have been unless horrible. I mean, we would be at that point. You it. have to hope the scarf would rip. I, I, the fuck is, mm, mm. Oh. And you know, everybody else in, as they're stuck up there waiting to someone to fucking get them down, everybody else has turned around in the ride and they are looking at looking your at ass. Becky. They're looking at you. <laughs> they just probably not even say anything, just like, Well, and they usually, don't they usually before rides like that, like screen? I mean, because I didn't, I don't do roller coasters, but I went once to Six Flag New England with some of my friends and I was the friend that held all of their like loose clothing and purses so they could go on a big roller coaster because I didn't want to go on it. And they tell you like, you can rent a locker for a billion dollars, um, but you can't like have your purse. You can't have loose clothing. 
I mean, it is Australia where they play life on hard mode, so maybe they don't bother there. I don't know. Hi, Simba. I just, Please don't walk on the keyboard right now. Yeah, so, so what, Catastrophe says, why would you wear a scarf on a roller coaster at all? Just wear one of the defunct COVID cloth masks. They're great for that. I mean, why, why are you wearing a scarf? Why the? Yeah. Why in the fucking world? All right. This is probably the next one, the probably most righteous lawsuit I've ever heard of. Ever. I have no complaints about this one. I feel like this is entirely justified. I, yep, yep. And this is also a headline that is going to haunt you and me and everyone. Um, hey, can we not be on the keyboard, please? Because I, I want you to just, just, there's no other word to describe this besides visceral. So, I know. I love you too. Florida man sues Duncan over toilet explosion that left him filthy and injured. Yeah, because if you're desperate enough to use the bathroom at Dunkin' Donuts, Lawsuit. your day's already not going great. Lawsuit accuses Dunkin' Donuts of negligence after man was injured in explosion. They don't use the word explosion in a news story unless it actually was a fucking hey, explosion. Flagler County man is suing Dunkin' Donuts after he suffered from a toilet explosion nearly two years ago. Lawsuit says the man, Paul Kerouac, was visiting a Dunkin' Donuts location hmm. uh, along Loma Avenue in Winter Park uh, while at the store, a toilet in the men's bathroom exploded. Covering the man, covering the bathroom and Kerouac okay. in human feces and urine. But record show yeah. that Kerouac then came out from the bathroom asking employees at the store for help cleaning himself. Now, just imagine you're sitting in the Dunkin' Donuts, right? And a dude walks into the bathroom. And then you hear a noise from the bathroom. You hear. Boom. <gasps> And then you probably smell it. And then the door slowly opens. And it's not Al Pacino. <laughs> and the guy comes out. It's like, could someone help me, please? Can, 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 do you, can I have a napkin? <laughs> Get a wet nap. <laughs> um, around this time, employees told Kerouac they were aware of the, quote, Problem with the toilet due to prior incidents. What? I'm sorry, what? And why did it explode? That's a good I'm picturing question. Danny Glover in whatever lethal weapon movie. I've never seen any of the lethal weapon movies. But I know that there's a scene with Danny Glover on a toilet, and if he stands up, it's gonna explode. Yeah, it's that's a bomb. This was not a bomb. Are this we was, sure? Apparently it happened before. They're like, hey, what? Toilet exploded again. Oh, man. Damn it. What is it? Is it Tuesday? That's it. That's Tuesday. The toilet explodes. That's right. That's Why? Why does the toilet explode? Okay, don't attack the ring light. Simba. Lawsuit also says Kerouac <laughs> suffered from, quote, severe and long-term injuries due to the toilet explosion. Right. Now, I do have to question the nature and of sepsis. those. I have to question the nature of those injuries, seeing as he's only asking for $50,000. So I have to question the nature of the injuries. Meanwhile, we had the lady last week who wanted five mil because the, the pumpkin, the Reese's yeah. pumpkins didn't have faces yeah. on them. Yeah. Can we, can we switch those? Because this guy deserves five mil. Because yeah, if your toilet keeps having an explosion, maybe you need to call a fucking plumber. Here's the thing, like, shrapnel. That's basically a shrapnel bomb. 
<laughs> Except full of literal shit. Oh, Flutter, so, Flutter Nutter says, for you, it was the most important day of your, for you, for you, the toilet exploding at Dunkin' Donuts was the most important day of your life. But for the employees, it was Tuesday. <laughs> like, uh, all of, any open wounds have to be so oh. disinfected. So, 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 so much antibiotics. Just. Um, because literal, you have open wounds with literal human shit sprayed into them. Like, you have become the Golgothan. Like, he's lucky he's not dead. Because that could literally kill you. <sighs> I really, really, I can't believe this story doesn't tell you. Hmm. Why the toilet at the Dunkin' Donuts? It does not. I the, fucking exploded. Apparently, no one went and asked any questions to report on the story. They just read the lawsuit. Because, like, I've worked a lot of places in my time where I had to clean a bathroom. Yeah. And to my knowledge, no amount of fucking up cleaning the bathroom will cause explosions. explosions. No. Like. No. If you mix the Windex and the bleach, you're going to kill yourself. Yeah, but not... Don't not, do that. Not a big bada boom. No. No! So it says, like, the lawsuit accuses Dunkin' Donuts of negligence, failing to properly maintain the toilet. What does that mean? What does that mean? How do you... How do you plumb a toilet... I guess pipe a toilet to, in such a way... Oh, Guardian Joker... Shit hits the man. Ah, let's see what you did there. This, this is terrible. Because if it's just a lack of cleaning, every frat house in America and every apartment would explode. Yeah, yeah. Filled with 20 somethings yeah. is in a lot of danger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I guess a lot of dorms. I guess the first thing we learned this week is um, don't use the fucking toilet at the Dunkin' Donuts. Or no, it's just called Dunkin' now. Which is maybe yeah. a, just kind of an unfortunate name, considering. Um, I know. They're trying to lean into the coffee thing to compete yeah. with Starbucks. Yeah. So, uh, we have learned that if you were going to ride the roller coaster, maybe don't bring the long-ass scar. You... That could have been like a freaking urban legend horror story. Like... Kids in grade nine would be talking about you forever. Like anyone who goes to the, goes to the fucking theme park from then on, be talking about the, the lady on the on the roller coaster. And if you look over, she's wearing. When you a get scarf. to the top, you'll see her. <laughs> um, we've learned there are lots of ways to get out of jury duty. In causing a fucking mistrial is not a good one. There are regular. There's just. Mm. You're literally fucking with somebody's life. We have learned that the Uber driver is not your uh, accomplice. They never will be. They don't have no interest in this shit. Don't, don't do that. We've learned that while most of us are recovering on New Year's Day, some folks, they're still going. The party doesn't stop yeah. when she walks in. <laughs> it doesn't start. Until she, well, yeah, but forever. I'm old. Shut up. Um, I got where you were going. Yeah, where I was going. Yeah. And uh, finally, we've learned the Bass Pro Shop is a, is a very popular place for people to start swimming. It's Alabama. Isn't there a lake you can jump in? <sighs> it's going to be about as clean. Yeah, it's Alabama. I just, just, it's a lake. It's the best, like, if I, man, if I am getting totally fucked up on drugs, I can think of a lot of other places I'm going to go than the Bass right? Pro Shop. It's like, no, no, man, I'm getting fucked up and I'm going to go buy the new Garth Brooks album. Do they sell albums at it Bass was Pro a, Shops? It was a Bass Pro Shop exclusive. Uh, oh, 
I'm thinking that's not the one where he went emo. No, that was not that one. But yeah, do you remember a, that? I do. Chris Gaines, yes. Because it was supposed that. to be a movie that never yeah. happens. So yeah. he just says this one weird random emo album. Yeah. You guys need to look that shit up. <laughs> it was weird. Garth Brooks had a moment. He had a moment. It was it was weird. Like you, you can imagine even now, sometimes Trisha Yearwood walks in. Garth's reading the paper and she goes, Garth, what? Chris Gaines. Mm -hmm. God damn it. 